guys, welcome back to the Pineapple Party Podcast. Skitty keep pop pop rock on the top for to get all team with a big on time. Welcome back to another episode of the Pineapple Party Podcast. Uh, this is going to be a quick episode. Um, I think what I'm going to start doing is shout out to a few people that have reached out and suggested what we talk about in this podcast because, I don't know, I feel like I'm Elon Musk or, or Jeff Bezos in the early stages of their career where they have to save their their uh, companies from falling to death into depth, you know. And this is what I'm doing right now because I realize that this podcast has become super, super dry. Um, drier than the Sahara Desert, baby. It's hideous. It's horrific. It, it, it's making me thirsty. So, yeah, I think, I think what I need to do is spice it up, sauce on it, add a bunch of juicy real-life stories to the mix uh, to bring this podcast back up. To make this podcast great again, you know, they call me, they call me Donald Trump. I'm about to make this podcast great again. All right. So, one thing that I really want in life is to be able to do a bunch of stupid things that I can gain life lessons from. You know what I mean? And to say, oh, I've done that. I've done that crazy thing. What? The, the things that people fear? I done that, baby. I rock that. That's, that's one of my big life desires. Um, unfortunately, it's not going so well to plan. I am stuck at home because of the pandemic and whatnot. Um, and uh, yeah, it's, it sucks. It sucks. But we're going to talk about... The story that we're going to talk about. All right, let me set the scene. So this was two weeks ago. And like I said, it's super boring here. So my mom comes comes up to us and says, hey, let's spice it up, right? Quite literally, we're going to do hot pot. And we're going to use mala spice as a base for the soup. So me and my brother, I drive my brother out. We go to the grocery store, the supermarket. Try and get, you know, you got your you got your fish balls, you got your meatballs, all right, pause. Uh, and then you got your crab balls, because that is a thing as well. Then you got your meatballs with cheese. Then you got your uh, dim sum items. And of course, zabacon. But obviously, we don't buy the bacon here in the groceries, because cause that is haram, boy. So, um, yeah, we go to the grocery store, go to the supermarket, yet... All the ingredients we need to do this family hot pot, right? A little get together, you know, and uh, just have a meal, um, very freshly cooked, which is ironic because all the things are bloody frozen. But I drive my brother to the grocery uh, store, and I leave him there, and I never see him ever again. Yeah. No, but I parked the car, we get out, everything. And then at this point, we're, we were shopping for potatoes. Because I remember the day after, I wanted to make french fries. And there was this, there was this viral video of like this oven-baked french fries that, that, that I wanted to follow. Spoiler alert, we ate charcoal the next dinner. But with that being said, uh, we were shopping for pota- uh, potatoes and me and my brother are, were talking in Mandarin. Uh, I think, you know, we're laughing, uh, uh, laughing together, whatever. I think we were talking about that Filthy Frank video about vegans where he, where he showed what everything would look like if it was the other way around. If, if instead of being vegans to protect animals, we ate only animal uh, and, and, and meat, basically to protect vegetables. And there was this skit about how a Mr. Potato and a Mrs. Potato, you know, they're they're talking, they're 
you know, the potatoes going all, oh, uh, don't worry, honey, I'll, I'll come back, you know, I'm just going to work, you know, just very close by, and, and I'll come back and, and see you and our kid, you know, be safe, honey, I love you. Oh, no, please, hubby, it's dangerous out there, you know, you might get killed, please come back to us, please. Oh, don't you worry, honey, you know, we're, I'm going to come back, you know, it's just very quick, I'll see you in the evening. Goodbye, I love you, and I love our boy. So this potato goes out, right? This is the skit. Um, go watch it, by the way. I think it's called I Hate Vegans. <laughs> God. It's a filthy Frank video. What'd you expect? Anyways, um, yeah, so Mr. Potato goes out to work. And then suddenly, boom, boom, boom. I'm vegan. Hey, I'm vegan. Give me my medal. Hey, hey, here. Give me my medal. I'm vegan. I'm a superhero. Thrust his hand, this vegan thrusts his hands onto the potato, grabs it, snatches it out from its car, and starts biting into it, and blood starts pouring out, right? Um, so yeah, we were laughing and talking about that skit as we were buying potatoes, Ima you know, as, as normal people do, right? Just imagine what it would be like if potatoes actually had a, a circulatory system, and it had blood. And it bl and it bled, right? So that's what we're talking about. And then this man, uh, who I assume is South Asian. Okay, I'll cut the crap. I thought he was Indian. Okay, walks up to us, and then he looks at us and he's like, "Hey, hey, China, China," and starts pointing at us, right? And here's the thing. This has happened many times before. You know, if you live in an international country and you're, you know, you're outside, you're talking in your native language, right? In your mother tongue. Obviously, some people are going to be curious. Uh, what I would appreciate is if you just come up to me and be like, oh, so what language are you guys speaking? And then I can gladly tell you. Do not point at me and start screaming. It's, it's not, listen, man. It's not. Kahoot in, in biology class where you just point and, and scream out the answers or scream out false answers to throw out uh, everyone else's, um, uh, to try and throw everyone else off. It's not that, right? Come on. You know, what am I, dude? <laughs> so this guy starts pointing at me and my brother and he's like, oh, China, China? And like I said, this has happened many times before. So previously, what I, what I had told my brother and sister was if, um, if someone tries this, right? If someone just starts yelling their assumptions at us, uh, what we should do back is do the same thing. <laughs> so immediately I, I'd look at him. And then I was thinking, he's probably Indian. So I went, Sri Lanka? Sri Lanka? But then surprise, surprise, I got it correct. He's like, yeah. And now it looks like I genuinely care for this guy. It looks like, it looks bad for me now. Because it looks like I actually care. And he's like so happy. And um, the poor man, I don't know what his intentions were. I'm sure, you know, he meant no harm. Um, yeah, it's, it's, I guess it's fine, right? I guess he was just, he didn't really know how to make conversation. Um, but you do understand, like, this is equivalent to going up to a lady, pointing at her, and just screaming, girl, girl, ooh, girl, titties, titties. <laughs> so, yeah, now I got it right, and uh, he's actually Sri Lankan. And, um, you know, my brother's like, whoa. And my brother tells him, yes. Uh, we, uh, actually, no. My brother said, no, we're not Chinese because I'm not indeed from China. Just in case I forgot, you know. And, and if they do make me apologize, they can't. I'm not from China. Um, but what is funny is then, oh, there's another thing that we've discussed way before is this. Whenever anyone comes up to us and starts trying to throw out ideas and see which nationalities or which uh, countries stick, 
we would always say, Ah, no, I'm actually from North Korea. So that's what we would do. So now this man is like, oh, no, then where, where? And I look him dead in the eyes and I tell him, North Korea. And then, because this, this throws people off, right? Some people would freak out. Other people don't realize it does not click for them. And it's like, ah, North Korea, okay, oh, BTS, BTS, oh, ARMY. And it doesn't click for them. You know, they don't recognize that it's not South that we're talking about. So, uh, yeah, I look this man dead in the eye and I tell him, no, uh, we're not from China. We're from North Korea. And then he's like, ah, nice. I'm like, yeah, well, indeed, you know, uh, supreme leader. Yes, uh, Kim Jong-un. And then, and then um, I said something like, uh, hail all great leader, Kim Jong-un. We salute him. And then this man's like, y yeah, yeah, okay, okay, okay. And then he just dashes away. Um, and I've never heard from him since. So I don't know. Maybe the spies got him. Who knows? But that's my solution, right? It's a horrible one, but it is hilarious. It is so funny uh, every time. And then me and my brother, we just laughed, you know, for for like a good minute. But it was funny, man. And that's what I do, you know. Um, a lot of times people ask, "Oh, where you, you know, where are you guys from? Where are you guys from?" I just say North Korea, right? Yeah, I escaped. <laughs> no, I'm joking. But, well, I didn't, I didn't have to say that. You guys know. But, um, yeah, man. I don't know. Should I pull a Noel Miller and, and just keep my uh, nationality conspicuous? But I feel like, for me, it's, it's a lot more obvious. Um, because for him, it's quite ambiguous. You know, he could be anything. He could be Martian for all we know. Right? I mean, with a head so round and actually, nah, that man has a has a very perfectly round shaped head. I can't diss him for it. But yeah, with that being said, that is a, a short little episode, a little story time. I hope you guys enjoy. Uh, any updates? I am working on two songs again. Uh, well, obviously, because I'm continuing. Um, but this one is the first one that is coming out. The first one that I will be dropping is a remix of uh, Joji's remix of Medicine by Daughter. So I am doing a remix of a remix, but this isn't any normal remix. It's not bootleg quality. It's not one of those cheap remixes you find on, you know, the free, royalty-free music. I don't do royalty-free music, baby. We're on it. We're on. We're working towards another level. And I've put lyrics over it. I've added a whole outro to it. Listening to it, it, it honestly sounds like a completely different song. And it is a wonderful song. And I'm having so much fun working on this track. Um, again, I just want to say thank you so much to the people that do reach out, to the people that. You know, every now and then we just ask, like, yo, how, what's up? You know, what's going on with the music? Is it coming out? Because it's been, honestly, it's been half a year, you know? So I'm back. Uh, I'm working very hard on it. I'm going to start working on mixing the vocals very, very soon. But that's the hard part. So after that, after that is just a promotion and just the, the tidying up and then release. So, hope you guys have a wonderful day. Hope you guys enjoyed watching this. Recommend this to your friends. Take care.